Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and I had lots of requests to do a paper bag mini album. So that's what we're going to do today. Now I do mine a lot different probably than most people, but I'll show you my take on it. <laughs> I actually started filming a minute ago, I thought, my it didn't start filming. So I had already covered this before I realized that I wasn't filming. But what this is, as you can see, it's a vanilla wafer box, and I have just cut it down to the size that I wanted. Let's see, I'll measure it for you. I cut it down to five, and then I just left the height the original, I think. Yeah, five and three quarters. And then what this is, is this is just some of that contact paper. I use it when I take my photos and things. It's just some of that, you know, you peel the backing off and press it down let's see but yeah it's like a kitchen liner or you know something like that that's what this is i got it long long time ago off of amazon and i just decided to cover the outside of mine with that so all i did was just cut a piece a little bit larger lay it down press it to it and that's it that's you know it's covered and now I can decorate and put all kinds of things on the front so that's what I put on the front now on the inside I'm going to do something a little different but I'm going to show you first what I do with my bags now these are just the little lunch bags I have no clue what size they actually I know they go by a number or something these are ten and a half by five and a quarter so they just fit inside this little bag or this little container here. So they're just the right size. I scored at five and five and a quarter inches. And it's a little bit hard to score a paper bag. So, you know, don't worry about it if you don't get it exactly right. So no biggie. I just put a little score line in there so I can see where I need to fold. Sometimes I go by that and sometimes I don't depending on whether I get my side straight or not so you can see by doing that you've got just a little quarter inch spine piece here this is what's going to tape down to the spine of our box right here just like that and we'll cut the ends off and then you'll have pockets here pockets here you'll have a little pocket here so we'll have some different pockets so let's just go ahead i think i'll probably need let's see two three four I think I can probably get about eight or ten in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and score a few more of these and I like I said I score at five and five and a quarter so how are you guys out there today I hope everybody is still doing okay I hope you're able to get out a little bit more. We've been able to get out a little bit more. We actually went to Sam's last week and did a little shopping. But it's been a crazy year so far. There. Now I'm going to put a little piece of Tyvek on the middle of this just because it's got that little, you know, that little opening thing there or place that you can open. It'll just strengthen our spine. And I'm not even going to get a piece that goes all the way from top to bottom I'm just going to use what I have this this is already cut so I'll use it and I'm going to use some PVA glue now I have I've had lots of people and yes believe it or not I read all of your comments I've had lots of people who have asked me um, well first off let me find my brush where is my brush okay I don't know where my brush is so you know what I'm gonna use this is actually the end of these little erasers I'm gonna use this but I've had lots of people who've asked me do would I do a tutorial on the different glues to use because um, they see me using so many different kinds of glues that it's kind of confusing I could do a video on it but I can tell you real quick in this video exactly what I use and why I use it what it's good for so if you want me to do that I'll just go ahead and tell you I'm gonna wipe that off I probably ruined that little brush but that's fine but these are good little brushes they're stiff okay I'm digressing here 
the PVA glue, while that's drying, I'll tell you, PVA glue is a, it's a professional quality glue, and it's mainly made for book binding. So you can use this anytime you put your book covers on, the inside covers, all of that. It doesn't warp your paper. It, um, when it grabs, it stays glued. It doesn't come unglued. It, um, is a flexible glue. So it, you know, when you need to bend your page or whatever, it's flexible. It doesn't crack. So that's why I use the PVA glue. So on the inside of this, I think I'm just going to put a piece of this coffee dyed paper. Um, I would put more of this, but all of that shows through. So if I put more of this, I would still have to put something under it. And I don't really want to do two different layers. So I am just going to use some of this coffee dyed paper. Now I'd really rather it go all the way down here. Like that. So I'll probably use two sheets and just kind of split it here in the middle. So let's see. We'll split it back right there. that will go I have no idea what I just did what did I just do oh that way now I just need to Okay, that will go right there. I'm going to kind of trim this off a little bit more even. And then I'll just have another piece that goes down here. Let me grab another piece. Okay, now we can put these down. And I'm just going to use some uh, PVA glue because I do want this to be a little bit flexible. I don't want it to have wrinkles in it. And I found my brush. And you can use PVA glue for other things. I mean, you don't have to just use it for book binding. It's just a good glue. It doesn't have the water in it like some of the glues do that will warp your paper. And I have my Amazon link below, but someone yesterday told me that um, Amazon was out of PPA glue, so I don't know. I'll have to look and see if all of the links that I had, if all of them are out. So we're just going to use a little, this is just an old card. Just use it to press it down. You want to try to get any of the bubbles out that you might see. Now we'll put this one. Let's see, did I cut it that way or the other way? That way. So there is the inside with our coffee dyed paper. And I'm going to let this dry just a little while before we try to do anything else. And... Then we will start adding some of our pages in. So while the cover is drying, we're just going to work on some of our pages. And like I said, you've got that quarter inch right there. And then I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this end. I'm going to see if my trimmer will cut it. If not, I'll just cut it by hand. But I think it might. 
it doesn't lock it but it'll cut it so that opens that you know this is already open and then that'll open up this this piece right here we got that opened and then I think it's gonna be the right size for our book let me look yes so that's exactly what we need to take off right there so I am taking off I'm, I'm just gonna do them one at a time and then I can I'm taking off just a smidgen off of the end about that much and then on this end I'll take off just a tiny bit more because that should make them about right when we're folding yeah that makes them come out even so you can either cut them together or cut them separately so I cut about that much off of the open end and then just that tiny bit off of the other end just to open it up so I'm going to do all of our bags that way all right we have all of our bags cut on the end and some of them may not be exactly because my trimmer decided to balk them in I'll but when I put them in the album I can see if they're a little bit off and if they are I can trim them that's no biggie so what we're gonna do is start decorating these now the first thing that I want to do is I'm gonna go on the inside of here and I'm gonna glue some pieces down because I don't want some of those pieces sticking up so I'm gonna glue these little flaps right here down this little flap over here and then I'm gonna open it up and I just want a single pocket down in there so I'm just gonna glue these little pieces right here down I don't want those to open up on me so I'm just gonna press those down about right and then I'll just go around and if there's any that are sticking up like that I'll just put a little glue under them so that's what we're gonna do first we're gonna glue those pieces down oh and I meant to tell you that right here you also want to glue this down so just go ahead and put a little glue in there and press that down and then I put a little glue down the gusset and I glue that down as well so the first part of making these is just basically getting all your pieces glued down now some people don't glue these down they just leave their gussets open so that's up to you if you don't want to glue it down then don't worry about it I like to glue mine down because I like the flatter type page but that's up to you okay so that one's glued all over I think I will use this paper pad. This is uh, an old one from Graphic 45. It's by the sea. So I think I'll use this to cover my pages. And I may put her on the front. I think that's pretty. Okay, now all we want to do is cover back to that uh, first score line. And I want to run my pattern this way so that when you look at the uh, album, you're image will be upright so we're going to put that down just like that and I'm probably hmm, trying to think of what glue I want to use I'm probably just going to use my art glitter glue it will work fine on this paper and I don't have to paint it on there so and I'm gonna put my paper down before I punch my little opening up there my little thumb pull I think that's what I'm gonna do this is another flying by the seat of our pants crafting uh, it's been many years since I've done a little mini album with paper bags so we're just kind of trial and error on it here I 
Now I'm just using my Teflon bone folder to press that down. Make sure that everything is caught really well. And it looks like it is. And then we're just going to trim out around them. That, to me, that's easier than trying to cut each sheet and put it down. Because, as you know, most of the paper bags are not the same. They're not equal. So it's easier for me to do that and trim it out around them like that. That's cute. Already it's cute. Okay. So I think, nope, not even going to be able... I was going to try to use that for the little pocket here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's not big enough. So it's going to take quite a bit of this paper, I think. Now on this side, I don't need to go too far under the pocket. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think. That's going to be up like that. So when I flip that open... My pocket's going to be here, so I'm going to put this piece here. There's my little score line. So I'm going to glue this one down just like that. Now, you could cover these after you put them in your uh, cover if you wanted to. It doesn't matter, I don't think. I don't think it's going to matter one way or the other because I'm not going to put any paper on my spine here. So I think this will be fine and then I can wait on my spine piece to dry. The piece that we've been using. Okay. Now I'm probably just going to cover two pages on camera and then I will I'm not going to make you watch every one of my covers so then I will go off and cover the others and then come back and then assemble the little album I think that would be better because if you have to watch me cover all of these that's going to take just a little while okay so now you can see now that I have that covered this bottom is just a little bit wider than the top so I'm gonna trim that off I'm gonna make sure that my spine looks about even and then I'm just gonna trim that off even with the top There we go. That looks good. All right, now we can put a piece right under here. We're just going to need a little short piece, so we can probably use some of these scraps. I don't want to have to cut more paper up, so let's just use a piece of this scrap right here. And it really doesn't have to go that far under the pocket. You can just put it to about right here but this piece is already basically cut for that size so I'm just gonna use it so I'm gonna make sure that I don't go over my spine there 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 okay we'll put that down because you see your pocket sometimes is not as wide because all of these are they're so shoddy made, really, because they're made really quick, and some of them are even, some of them are not. Can you see where my little fold is? There it is, right there, I think. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay. Then I can flip it over and it doesn't show on that side, so we're good. But see, it kind of covers that where that little piece is not filled out correctly. And then we'll put a little 
we'll glue our pocket down. So let's just glue right up through there. And right there. And then put some paper on the top right here. What shall we put? That's not going to be big enough. So let's lay those over there. So let's just cover the little pocket with this, I think. That'll be pretty. I am going to drag my trimmer out on this part. Okay, where did I put that little mark? And I kind of even, when I put this piece down, I kind of even this out. I don't cut it like that is. I kind of even it out and use that. Um, I found that makes it a little bit looks a little bit better so let's do it like that right there oh not that way is that upside down or right side no that's she's standing up so that's right side up so let's put it just like that i think that'll be pretty so even if this bottom part is not straight i still cut the paper as straight as i can to make my little pocket cover All right, so there's our first little pocket. Now, I'm not going to worry about cutting thumb holes in these because if I do, it's going to open that up to all kinds of stuff that I'm going to have to glue down. So they will still work fine for a pocket. Let's see. But they just won't have a little thumb hole in them. So see, it's still going to be a pocket. So on these outside ones, we will put thumb holes but I'm gonna go ahead and cover this back part first before we do that, our thumb pulls. Now, if I was leaving part of the brown showing, that would work great on there, but I'm not. So, let's go to something else. I love this sheet right here. That is pretty. Okay, we're gonna put that down. And you could leave part of your bag showing that would be fine uh, okay that didn't go down straight i'm just choosing to cover most of mine up on this one okay trim this off sure that everything's glued down well and it looks like it is so there's our first page I'll accept the embellishing so see we've got a pocket there and we've got pockets on the ends so let me grab my punch and uh, punch these little openings here on the ends I don't think my one inch my little one inch punch is going to go through that it's old and decrepit so let me grab another punch Okay, I'm just going to use my two inch oval. Hopefully I can get it through all of this. There we go. And then I'm just going to eyeball it. You could get it through easy if you didn't have the arthritis like I do. 
would be no problem. Let's see. That looks about right. Whoops, I let it slide. There we go. Pretty close, pretty close. It's gonna work. Got a little piece right here that's sticking up. Now you could probably put these on with um, glue stick. You know, you know that I'm just not a fan of glue stick, so I end up getting more glue stick on me than I do on the pages. So I'm not gonna, not gonna use that. Not gonna go there. Now I am gonna ink this trying to decide. I think I'm just going to ink it in vintage photo. I was going to ink it in blue and then I thought, nah, I'll just ink it in vintage photo. So I'm going to ink my page and then I'm going to do one more and then I'll do the rest of them off camera because you won't need to see all of them. All right, there is one completed page. So there's the front. Then you open it up. You've got a pocket here. There's our little spine, and then a pocket here. Well, a pocket on the end. You've got a pocket on the end here. And these can be double pockets because, well, this one can't. This one will be a single pocket. But this one can be a double pocket because you have those little dividers there. You can put a tag here and then a tag back here if you want to. So that is our first page. Let's go ahead and do one more. And then I will go off and finish all of these pages up and then when we come back we'll put all of it together so I think I'm going to use this one now you need to decide before you start doing this you need to decide which way you want your pockets to face do you want some of the pockets on the front some of the pockets on the back I'm going to alternate mine but that's up to you so just decide before you start putting your paper down because you may need to change the direction of your paper. This one I'm doing on the back again, but the next one I'll probably turn it around. And don't think that these pages will be wasted because they won't. We can use them when we start covering a little bit down in there. We can use these pages. So they're not going to be wasted. I don't think I glued that down. Not inside the pocket, girl. Okay. So there is the front of that one. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Then we're going to put a piece here. And I think I might just put this down here. This is an 8x8 eight eight pad. This is actually one of those pads that I bought from Melina, but shh, don't tell her, because I haven't paid her for it yet. And I will get all of her sale items up sometime or other. <laughs> I have just, this week has been crazy, but I will get all those up so you guys can purchase some of this, because if you don't, I'm going to end up buying it all, and I don't need it all. Because everything I look at, I think, oh, I need that, I need that. Cause she has some pretty stuff but I had used all of my paper pad like this up and I didn't realize that she had one and she had just a piece of one she brought over here so I decided I would get it because this was my favorite of all of the graphic 45 of course you know I love the sea I love lighthouses and I love the beach so it had all the things in it that I love I would love to live on the beach if I could get my husband to go there, but he says no. He didn't mind vis visiting every now and then, but he hates the sand. He didn't like to go out on the ocean. He just, he's not a fan of it. The only way he likes to go out on the ocean is when we go on a cruise. 
he will go on a cruise with no problem. But that's about it. Okay. Oh, there's another fly. I thought I kept feeling something. Anybody else having problems with flies this year? Oh my goodness, they're terrible around here. All right, I'm just looking to see if I need to trim any of this page off. It looks like I need to trim just a tiny bit right there to make them come out kind of even, I believe. Maybe, yeah, just a little bit. But when we go on a cruise, the only thing he likes is to is to eat. As you guys, most of you guys have been on a cruise with us before. So, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. He loves the eating part. But he doesn't, doesn't like to just go up at, just go to the ocean just to sit there and, or lay out. He doesn't, he doesn't do any of that stuff. So, I love to go and get an umbrella and uh, take a book and something to drink and just lay there and listen to the waves come in. Oh, if I lived on the ocean, I would be ruined. Okay, we're going to put that right there. I probably wouldn't do anything. I'd be so lazy. I would just lay around and read and... Huh, that would be nice. But, I don't think that's in the cards. I'd have to go without him if I did, so. And I'm not going to go without him. I'll just visit as often as I can. But you know what? Visiting has gotten outrageous. The condos and everything down there are ugh, out of this world. Oh my gosh. I don't know how anybody can afford it. We can't. The kids wanted to go again this year to Perdido Key, where, where we went last year. You know, I did some lives from down there, but oh my goodness, I think the condos are twice the price they were last year. So if anybody's got a condo they'd like to rent out to me, that would be wonderful. For not like $5,000 for, for three days. Because <laughs> I would love it. Let's see. We might just put this on here. So we'll, I'm going to make sure that I'm getting all of my pieces the right way. Yeah, okay. We'll put this on here. Yeah, sometimes if you can find a, an individual that has some condos and things they want to rent, you can get a, a nicer price. But if you can't, it's terrible. have everything falling off of my desk every time I move something. I know that nobody else in this world has a craft desk that is messy, do you? I'd rather craft is clean, hadn't you? Alright, that's going to go right there. I want to go visit Becky. Becky, you know who you are. She lives on the Outer Banks, and I love the Outer Banks, Hilton Head. I want to go visit her, because that is one of our favorite places to go. Now, he loves going there. He will go there with me, but I want to go there and visit her someday. All right, that's covered. That one's covered. We got our pocket. So we need to cover this side. Hmm, let's put a piece of this on here. This is pretty. Okay, we're going to let that dry. Look at that. That's pretty already. I like it. Alright, I'm going to cut my little openings here. 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my other pocket. What did I do with it? Kind of tossed it over here to the side. I'm going to take this little pocket and just mark this one so that my little openings will be kind of in line. There we go. can punch this one we have two pages done so now all we need to do is cover the others and then we'll be ready to put this in our little album and make our little tag inserts and that kind of thing so I'm gonna go off I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna cover the other pages and then we'll come back and we will put this little mini together we have all of our pages covered and we was able to get seven pages because I kept kind of sitting it in here to see if the seven pages is gonna be right and it is so this will hold seven pages, which is quite a bit considering this little bitty album here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some PVA glue right down through here. And then I'm just going to start here at the back and I'm just going to put these down. Now I need to see, I think I can put them down this way and I can get them kind of straight because I can see it like that yeah because it's going to be about a quarter of an inch at the top and a quarter of an inch at the bottom almost right at a quarter from top to bottom so we will just line those up getting your first one lined up on the back is the main part so what i'm going to do is make sure that i have these laid out like I want them to go in. Let's see. I want that to be the front, I know. That can be the next one. Yeah, this is going to be my last one. So I'm going to put it in. I'm going to make sure that I've got it right side up because this is going to be the top of my album right here. And I just want to put it in just like that. So I'm going to grab this PVA glue. Now I need to put my PVA glue in a smaller container so that I can manage it a little bit better. But right now all my containers are taken up. That gives me room to kind of wiggle it back and forth and make sure that I'm getting it in the right place. Where is my, there we go. I'm going to wipe up all the excess. I hope I didn't get my head in the shot. And knowing me, I probably did. I have... I have something, a tool here, that I like to rub the glue up with. The excess. There we go. And then I'm just going to gently open it up and then press it down in the center right there. Now, I did not cover the center part here. This is the spine part. I didn't cover that because I feel like that's just fine like it is. If you want to put a little strip down through that on yours, then you definitely can. I'm getting confused here. Okay, that's going to be the back. My pockets are going right. I did I did go ahead and put some pockets in some of these. Like this has a little 
side tuck and then here's a little thing here and the main reason that I did is because I ran out of paper <laughs> so I ran completely out of paper so I had to improvise and when you run out, run out of paper and you have a lot of scraps the best way to do that is just to start adding pockets now I forgot to ink this one so I'm inking it up real quick looks like I inked part and then stopped so I probably got interrupted my husband came back in for well I won't call him my husband his name is Whit W-H-I-T-T -T. I've had lots of people that's messaged me and said you never say the name of your husband we always just call him Mr. E so what is his name <laughs> his name is Whit W-H-I-T-T -T. His, his first name is Michael but he doesn't like that name so he goes by wit. So that is how we're going to glue the pages down right there. Now when I glue these pages down, then I can kind of hold this up. And I can see if one side of this may be a little bit taller than the other. It was a little bit harder to see when I had them just sitting down on my desk. And if it is, which that one right there is just a tiny bit, then I can trim it off even with the other one. I think I can and then re-ink that and nobody will be the wiser except you guys and don't tell anybody okay let me see I'm gonna straighten that up just a tiny bit now we have both sides are even, and that one is in there. Now, I'm going to probably either speed this up or I'll put my pages in and then come back. You guys know I just got through showing you how to put the pages in. The next one, whichever one you want to be the next one, all you're going to do is just sit it up right next to that one and put it in just like that. Just going to line it up. The first one is the hardest to get in because you have to make sure that you're getting it even. The rest of them you can just kind of line up from front to back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these pages in. And like I said, I'll probably speed this part up just to let you watch. And every now and then you'll see me stop and measure and do a little bit of trimming. And that's just part of the process when you use paper bags.
all of our pages are in. And I'll give you a little flip through. Now they're not completely dry down on the bottom, so I'm gonna flip real easy. You got a little tuck right here in the very first pocket, or very first page, I should say. And then you have your page, your uh, pocket up here. And then we'll probably put some more pockets through here. There is a large pocket down in there. And I'll, again, I'll put probably a little bit of paper right at the top just to cover that. You have a tuck right here. And then another pocket. I'll probably put more pockets here. There's a large pocket there. I'll probably put pockets here. There is a large pocket there. Again, po either pockets, belly bands or something. And there is a pocket there. There is a little tuck. No, this is a little pocket right here. And I need to glue this down. I just noticed I haven't glued that one. That is the little pocket. There we go. That's all glued down. And then you have your larger pocket here. Whoops, did I glue that shut? Oh no, hang on. Now I think just a tiny bit of glue got right there on the edge. There we go. That's all it was. Okay, so there's your pocket there. You have another little pocket here. Then you have a large pocket there. I'll probably put belly bands or pockets or something on that. There is a large pocket. There's a pocket. Large. Um, this is a little side tuck that we put in. Large pocket. Pocket there. Pocket. Um, side tuck or pocket and there is a pocket and then a little side tuck and then a little pocket there and oh no another one glued no and there's a big pocket there and then here is a pocket that goes in this way now what I'll do I'm gonna let this dry just for a minute and then I'll come back and we will embellish the front put more pockets through here I've got some scraps left so we'll use up these scraps with pockets belly bands and things like that and then this little baby will be finished now i am going to use this for the front cover i love that image right there so i'm going to try to get her for my front cover and i'd like to get that lighthouse on there too but i don't think i'm going to be able to but at least i can get her for my front cover and these two little babies there i think that's sweet so we're going to use that for our front cover and then we've got lots of little tags and things that we can make some tags out of and little journaling spots and things like that. So I'm going to let this dry just a little bit and then we'll come back and do that. Okay, okay we can start embellishing now on this and adding some tags and things. Now I just put this pocket right here before I realized that I needed to turn the camera on. So let's see. I may just go through and make the pockets and then come back and do tags. So we've got a pocket here that we can slide something in. Right there. And we need to put something here. I'm going to put a side tuck on this one. On this side over here. Let's see. Just a small one, maybe. Oh, maybe a billy band. That would probably look good. Let's see, that's the top. And that's just the right size for a little billy band. Let's do that. Let's put a billy band right here. I'm just going to mark where I need to cut it off. And then I always lose my mark by the time I get my cutter out. My cutter's got to have a new blade. They haven't shipped yet, so I don't know when it might be. So there is that. That didn't look right. That looks right. 
There is a little belly band. Do I want to do anything else to the belly band? No, I think we'll just glue it down just like it is. I don't think it needs anything else. So we'll put a little bit of glue on the top, a little bit on the bottom. And then just kind of center it up. There we go. So there is our belly band. Now we can slide some things under there. So that's cute. We may come back and put a few little things on top of that. I'm going to use my what paper I have first before I do that. So then on this one, let's see what we have. We could do a little side tuck on this one. Let's see, I'm trying to find a paper that doesn't matter if I get it right or wrong. I'll put my little scraps over here. I'm very unorganized right now. We could just use this one, use some blue in there. Kind of tone down all that other color. So let me cut this one the size and we'll put a little side tuck in that one. And then we need it. Let's see, if I put it up there, I'm going to have to cut that. Hmm. We may put it down here. If I put it up here, I'm going to have to cut that again, and I don't want to do that. So. And then I may just do a bottom tuck, a bottom pocket. Let's just do that. Let's do a bottom pocket, and I'm just going to cut it off a little bit more. So I don't interfere with that. I think that should get it right there. Let's see. Yes, that will work. And now all I'm going to do is just mark where I need to cut it. There we go. And then I am going to well, look at that. It doesn't look quite straight. Straighten that out. There we go. Then I'm just going to put a little pull in the top. there. So we'll put a little glue on here, a little glue on the bottom, and a little tiny bead down through there. So let's put that right there. Where's my little towel? I'm going to get another one. I keep a little supply of towels over here, as you can see. These are like when I wash my hands and I dry them off on these. I save these, and that's what I use out here. So I recycle them. And I'm constantly washing my hands, so I usually have lots of those. Okay, there we've got that. And we can put something here. What do we want to put on here? Do we want to put, I think I might do a little corner pocket on this. Let's see, let me find a paper that is already cut about the size. Is that going to match up good enough? Yeah. All right, which one's the top and which one's the bottom? These words go both ways, so who knows? We're going to do it that way. Set sail is up there. Okay, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up to about right there. I'm just going to cut from this corner 
right down to that mark that I made, just like that. And that's going to be my little side tuck. Or corner tuck, I should say. Just like that. So then we'll just put glue down through here, across the bottom, and down that part of the side right there. I'll make sure that I didn't slide glue down in there. That's good. Then I'm going to take my little wavy ruler here and I'm just going to lay it on here and make us some waves. I'm not going to try to tear this because this is a thicker cardstock. I'm just going to draw it out and then I'll just cut it. There we go. Then I think I'm going to put that right up there at the top. Just like that. So I'm going to cut it off about right there. Then we'll ink that up and we'll lay that down right there. And then if you want to tuck something under there, you can because we'll just glue down the sides and the bottom. I think I will. I haven't left my glue open too long. Okay. Come on. There we go. So there is that. We have our little side tuck. And then we have a pocket here. Need to put something on these. I think I'll just use this and make another pocket. You can never have too many pockets, right? So there we go. Let's put a little pull in the top. Now over here I think I'll just make another belly band. This piece right here is just about right for that. So we're just going to clip it off at the end. Let me look at that and make sure it's somewhere near straight. I think so. Okay. Then, oof, I don't want to cover this page up at all. It is too pretty. Love that. I'm going to leave that page for a little while and see. Over here, what shall we do? You can use a little bit of this. Alright, on this one I think I'll make a little standalone pocket. And that just means it's a pocket on its own. It's not, you know, you don't have to use the back of the page. or the, You don't have to use the front of the page to do the pocket because it is doubled. There we go. And then we're going to glue the sides, but I'm going to go ahead and clip this. Okay. That'll be cute. It'll hold one of those tags. Maybe two. So I'm going to glue the sides together. And then we'll glue it down. Okay. Then we'll glue it down right about here. And I'm just going to glue the sides and the bottom, and that way you can have a double pocket if you want. If I can go straight with my glue. Okay. 
So see now you have a pocket here in the back and then you have a little pocket here in the front. So you have two pockets there. You can put tags and things in. So I think that's all I'm going to do to that page right now. Um, what do we want to do here? I want to bring a little bit of that color over here. So I'm just going to use this and make a tiny little pocket at the bottom because I think all of that's pretty. My cutter may make me go change blades before this is all over with. I think I have one more left. I just hate to stop out and change it. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? But I, I just do. It's just one of my things I don't like to do. Okay, put that down right there. Okay, then that can have a little tag or something in there, sitting like that. All right, this page, what shall we do there? You see, I'm just grabbing through my scraps over here, trying to use as much of this as I can. I think we'll just do another little side tuck here and we'll use this paper and kind of bring them back and forth I think maybe let's see if I have anything else that I'd rather use nope I don't like that maybe maybe a blue striped nope oh that's cute nope we'll use that for a tag let's see We may just use, no, I don't like that either. I think my first choice was going to be it. Let's just use this. And I'm just going to mark it where I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut right there. And then right there I think very scientific here when you don't like to measure everything the best thing to do is grab your pencil and just make your marks makes it a lot easier I think I don't mind measuring every now and then, but oh, when you're making an album like this, you would constantly be measuring and measuring and measuring. So to me, the easiest way is just make your marks and then cut. There we go. That looks cute. By the time we get tags and things in there, that's going to be sweet. Pocket there. Anything here. I'll do another little bottom pocket. Some of them probably don't need a pocket on them. They probably would be fine without one. But I just like pockets. I mean, even if you don't use them, you can just stick little memorabilia in there and uh, that kind of thing. If you don't, you know, if you don't want to use them for anything else. I'll cut the top of this a little straighter. That will work. And I think on this one I will put a tiny little pull. Just a tiny one. Like that. 
pocket there. I don't know about this one. I don't think I'm going to cover that. I'll, hmm, I'll wait and see. This one I want a belly band on. I know that. So let's see. Let's find. Hopefully I've got something that's already cut for a belly band. That looks pretty much like a belly band. Maybe not. Okay. Let's let's wait on that. I'm gonna cut the belly band and put on there, and then on this one I may may or may not put a pocket. And then we've got a pocket here. I may or may not put a pocket there. I kind of like the way that looks. We got a little side tuck here. And then I'll probably will put a pocket here just because it I think it needs something. We got a pocket there. I probably will put a pocket here. Um, I don't know if I'll put a pocket there or not. I may put a little rounded pocket there. And then we have a pocket there, a little pocket there, a pocket there, and then I did put a little pocket in the back and there's a pocket here. Now, let me say this. I am going to go ahead and finish all of this up. I'm going to go ahead and decide how I want to cut this for the front. And decide how I want to cut her out for the front part. And I'm going to embellish that. And then I'm going to put probably, I probably will put paper on the spine on this and then paper on the back. And then I'll do a little bit more embellishing. The reason I'm saying all this is... I have had lots of people who have asked me to please sell some of my mini albums. Um, so far, I have not sold any of them except a couple local that, you know, specifically wanted me to make them one. But if you want uh, this mini album, I will put it up for sale. I'll put it up in our store. The link to our store is below. But I will go ahead and finish this. And the reason I'm trying not to do this on camera is because we're already way into a, the, a long video. So I want to take my time on the front and really do some nice embellishing. So I may even do some fussy cutting and things on this. So I want to go ahead and do that, but I, you know, I don't know if you guys want to see it or not. I will film it and if you want to see it, then I'll put it in. I'll insert it in the video, the next video maybe that goes up. Because it takes me a little bit longer on the, the covers because I take my time and I really think about how I want to layer everything and all of that. So, you know, you can just let me know in the comments below if you want to see my process on how I actually covered everything. But I'll take photos when I finish and put the photos at the beginning of this video. But if you're interested in this mini album, it will be in our shop for sale. Um... All you have to do is go over there and purchase now. I only have one, so whoever who gets there first will get it, I guess. All right, I'm going to stop this video right here, and then I will start another one where I'm starting to embellish the front and all of that, and then I will go ahead and make the tags and everything for the inside, and I'll film that so that, um, you know, if you want to see it, you can. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.